What's going on, ladies and gents? Welcome to VV Investments. I appreciate you tuning in. On today's episode, we're comparing some VV digital collectibles to their physical counterparts by playing the higher lower game. This is going to be part two. Part one is going to be linked down below. If you guys enjoy the content, make sure to like and subscribe. Comment down below what you want to see in a future episode. Without further ado, sit back, relax, enjoy. So for anyone who missed part one and doesn't know how the traditional higher lower game works, you're given two topics and based on the amount of Google searches they receive on a monthly basis, you want to guess whether the second topic is higher or lower than the first. So today we're applying this to VV collectibles and you guys can guess whether the digital or physical cost more. We're talking about 10 different types of collectibles in today's episode. So with that being said, let's hop into the first one. So we're starting off with self-made, one of my personal favorites on the app. But on the left hand side we're gonna have the digital version that's on vv on the right hand side we have two different variants we have a brown version with a little bit of green on the trunk and we also have what they refer to as an ash version which by the way i could not find online now i'll give you guys a little hint here on the left hand side you're gonna have 250 editions minted total for the digital version and on the right hand side both physical versions have 200 editions so they're very very close only 50 apart what do you guys think is the digital or physical more expensive Okay, so the digital version on VV right now is sitting around 700 gems in the market. The brown physical version, the cheapest one I could find online, keep that in mind, I'm basing this off the cheapest version. Physical prices are gonna be all over the place because there's a lot more variables involved. Have they been discolored? Have they been opened? Are they scratched, etc., etc. But the cheapest one I could find was around 229 USD. And then as I mentioned before, I could not find an Ash version for sale online every single listing i clicked on it just said not available or sold out or just notify me if available there was one listing that i found in the description before i actually clicked on the link it said that it was around 1400 but again when i clicked on it it said it was sold out so i am assuming that the ash version is going to be more expensive than the two to the left i do believe the price of it is over a thousand dollars there's none for sale that i could find online and if you do find somebody who's willing to sell it I'm sure it's well over that amount. Next up, we're talking about Dragon Girl. Now, little disclaimer for you guys. I am basing this off the orange and black version you guys see on the right-hand side. I ended up cropping out the pink one on the left-hand side just to find out that the only one that they sell on their website right now is the one on the right. The only image I could find online of the pink and gold version was the actual prototype, but there was no price attached to it. So... I'm basing this off of the one you guys see on the right hand side even though i have the image of the pink one on the left but what do you guys think is the vv version more expensive or is the physical one going to take it home big big discrepancy here so roughly 30 gems in the secondary market for the digital version again the orange and black version but the orange and black physical version on tokidoki's website is going for roughly 605 usd now just something to keep in mind i do think you get more with the physical version i believe you get a certificate and then also a painting from simone himself which is the artist behind the piece next up we're talking about the decon vultures so pieces i've always thought were really interesting on the app i think these pieces would actually look really cool in your home space so i do have the intention of adding them to my collection at some point so just a couple interesting things with these ones there are going to be a couple different variants so for example the one on the left which fun fact for you guys it glows in the dark but this one has a couple different variants so there was one with 200 editions made but then there are also what they refer to as hand embellished versions where they have less than 10 editions total these pieces were a little difficult to find the prices for in the market the reason why is because funny enough all of the ones that were listed online were different colored versions of them but it was really hard to find the glow in the dark price and also the price for the one on the right but what are you guys thinking? Are the digitals higher or lower than the physicals? Okay, so I'm gonna base this off of two things. So one, I'm gonna base this off of the retail price for the variant that had 200 editions. The reason why is because I couldn't really find any that are resold in the, I could really only find the price that they were sold at retail for. So with that being said, I'm comparing their retail price to the retail price of the digital version that dropped on Vivi which was 99 gems. 
So if I do that, both digital versions on VV did drop for a lower retail price than the physicals. But if I compare the prices of what they're reselling for in the secondary market, both prices are again going to be lower. You have the glow in the dark digital version going for roughly 20 gems, whereas the physical is going for above retail. Again, I couldn't find an exact price. And then the price of the digital midnight version is going for roughly 22 gems in the secondary market, whereas again, the physical is above retail. Next up, let's talk some Labbits. So Frank Kozik, a popular artist. He gets a lot of love for his characters you see on screen. I believe there's three sets so far. Right now, I have four versions out of those three sets. We have the Smork and Red Labbit. We have the Visible Labbit. And we have the Backstab Black and White Labbits. Now, again, a couple different variants for these guys. So you're going to have vinyl versions, but then also plush toys. And the only one that I based off of its plush toy version is going to be the see-through Labbit, and that's because I believe it's the only one it's offered in. I don't think there's a vinyl version of it. But what are you guys thinking? Are the physicals more expensive, or the digital is going to be more expensive over on Vivi? And there you have it. So starting over on the left-hand side, the physical is going to be more expensive, coming in at around 65 USD, whereas the digital version is going for roughly 20 gems in the secondary market. The plush toy visible Labbit is going to be more expensive at around 75 USD as opposed to the 25 it's going for on Vivi. Now the backstab Labbits are going to be more limited versions. So the black version has only 150 editions total. When it dropped, it dropped for a retail price of 50 USD, but I could not find one that was being resold. The one on Vivi is going for roughly 240 gems in the market. But because I couldn't confirm the price of what the physical is currently going for, I just highlighted it yellow. My best guess is the physical is worth more. As for the white version, there was 550 editions that were made total. Again, it dropped for a retail price of 50 USD, but it's currently going for only 16 gems in the secondary market on Vivi. Now, similar to the black version, I could not find what it's being resold for, but I think it's safe to assume that it's worth more than the retail. Next up, let's talk about some more decom pieces. This time, the skulls from Sket 1. Why don't I give you guys another hint for this one, just like I did for Self Made? So, on the left hand side, the digital version is going to have 666 editions, whereas the physical is going to have 222 editions. In the middle, we have the black and gold version. The digital is going to have 266 editions, whereas the physical has 500 editions. So, it's more limited on V. And then on the right hand side, the digital version is going to have 666 editions, whereas the physical 777. So based off those edition sizes, what do you guys think? Are the prices for the digitals higher or lower? So the colorful variant right now is currently being sold for 150 USD, whereas the digital version on Vivi only 18. The black and gold version retails at 150 and in fact, all of the physicals are priced at that amount. But the digital version on VV is going to be a little bit more expensive. Like I said, it is a little bit more rare, so it's going for roughly 200 gems in the secondary market. And as for the variant on the right, again, retails for 150 USD, whereas the digital much lower at only 16 gems in the market. Next up, we got some Infinity Stones again, and a little shout out to Bill Gardner here for the post over on Twitter. But he was walking through Epcot and he came across some of the physical versions of the digital Infinity Stones on the platform. The first up, we have the Tesseract, we have the one from the Thor series, we have the Eye of Okamoto and the Loki Scepter. And just if you guys are wondering why I blacked out part of that caption, it's just because he lists the price there. So I didn't want to kind of just spoil it right away. <laughs> but what are you guys thinking? Which is higher or lower? The digital versions on the left or the physical versions in the display case on the right? And there you have it. Each and every digital version is going to be cheaper on the app. Bill Gardner says that VV digital collectibles in their physical form are $100 a piece at Epcot. So heading back over to some decon work and back over to Sket 1. This time we're talking about the Tings. So we got the Radioactive Ting, Neapolitan Ting, and actually I don't know what the last two are called. But anyways, starting on the left hand side, the digital version is going to have 777 editions. Whereas the physical, only 80. The digital Neapolitan Ting has 888 editions, whereas the physical, only 125. The colorful Ting is going to have 999 editions on Vivi, whereas the physical, only 200. And then last but not least, the black version is going to have 555 on Vivi, whereas the physical, 100. 
So what are you guys thinking? Are the physicals higher or lower? Oh, and by the way, does anyone know if the digital version actually glows in the dark? I don't know if there's any way to like dim in the lights in the showroom or put it into an object that's darker like the Coca-Cola ball. But does anyone know if it actually has the glow in the dark effect? But given the addition sizes of the physicals being a little bit more scarce than the digitals, but also the current market, each and every physical is going to be more expensive than the digital. Let's move over to Batman. So a lot of black and white pieces were discussed in part one from series one, two, three. But this time we're talking about one from series six. Now there is going to be quite a large difference in terms of their addition sizes. So the addition size of the digital version on the left hand side is going to be 12,800. Whereas the physical on the right hand side is 5,000. So with that being said, what do you guys think is more expensive? Is the version on Vivi higher or lower? They're actually not too far apart in price. The digital version right now is going for roughly 12 gems in the secondary market, whereas the physical, roughly 30 USD. Second to last, we're talking about Jermaine Rogers, Rabbit with a Knife. So this is actually an example of a piece where I think the digital version on Vivi complements the physical version really, really well. But we have the digital version on the left, physical on the right, which is higher or lower? What are you guys thinking? So right now, the digital version is going for roughly 19 gems in the secondary market, whereas the physical is selling for roughly 104 USD. I do believe the physical is much more scarce. I couldn't find the exact edition size, but anywhere I looked online, it just said sold out. The digital version on Vivi was released during a time where edition sizes were much larger than what drops are being released as today. So that would be another reason behind, you know, why I think that. And last but not least, let's talk Star Wars. So these were a little difficult to kind of price because there are reprints, there are first editions, there's signed versions from the cast. Again, a lot of variables, but I tried to do my best here. But if you guys happen to go online and find one that's a better price than the one that I have in this episode, again, I don't blame you. With pricing all over the place for pieces like this, it just made it a little difficult. But we have a new Hope poster on the left. We have a Return of the Jedi in the middle and then Empire Strikes Back on the right. What are you guys thinking? Are the digitals higher or lower? So again, a little difficult to judge here, but I did take into consideration the following. Because the digital version on Vivi has the first edition tag, I get it's the first edition tag for Vivi, but assuming digital collectibles, NFTs in general become mainstream over the years, right? And this first edition tag really becomes important on the platform like we all think it will then i did compare it to the original physical posters now none of these original physicals are signed versions that i've compared it to but keep in mind the signed versions are going for i mean i saw some for tens of thousands of dollars so although i couldn't find an exact price for each of these i think it's safe to assume the originals are going for well over a thousand usd whereas each of the digitals on vb are much much lower so we have a new hope at roughly 15 gems we have return of the jedi at roughly 50 and then empire strikes back at only six now that's going to conclude today's episode guys i really hope you enjoyed there are many many other collectibles on the platform that have physical counterparts so i am considering turning this into a series as well we got a bunch of little series we're creating here but if you guys do agree with that and you'd like to see more of this content in the future make sure to comment and like down below now we did just have the march community ama over on discord i could have probably released that for today's episode the reason i didn't is because i want to just digest the information a little bit more um, i want to make sure i'm not missing anything and that i'm providing the best summary i can for that call because a lot of people in the community were quite pleased afterwards if you guys enjoy the content make sure to like and subscribe comment down below what you want to see in a future episode and as for our next i'll catch you then